What up fam? Today we're gonna learn how to make this mystery weave bracelet. Stay tuned. Now since we're making a bracelet, the first thing we need to do is measure our wrist. As you can see, my wrist is an even seven inches around. Oh, and if you don't have this flexible tailor's tape, you can always just use some cordage or rope and measure it against a ruler. Now you're gonna wanna add an extra two inches to your measurement to account for any snaps or closures you're gonna wanna use. With that in mind, I cut a three quarter inch strap of leather at nine inches long. Now to cut in our strips, first we need to mark them in an inch from each side. This again is gonna leave us with plenty of room for closures later on. We want our strips to be an exact thirds. So at those inch marks, measure out and mark a quarter inch and a half inch at both ends. Next, lay a straight edge along those marks to use as a guide. And if your ruler rocks around, you may need to put another piece of leather under the other edge just to even it out. Using a sharp razor, run it along your guide making two clean, straight cuts. Now that we have three even strips to work with, it's time to braid. To start, take your rightmost strip and pass it under the center strip, making it the new center. Next, take your left strip and pass it under the center, now making that the new center, and starting our weave. Now we're just gonna repeat those two steps, passing the right under the center, followed by the left. Now at this point, we've made four passes, and as you can see, it's starting to look like something. But the other end is also getting kinda messy. To continue and unwind that a little bit, we need to pass it between the center and right strip. Just simply fold it back and through that space. Now it's gonna make everything really twisted, but no worries, we're gonna fix that in a minute. First, we need to make two more passes, the right and then the left, just like before. Now you see this gap that opened up on our left side? By just folding the far end under and through that space, all of the strips straighten out like magic. Now just do all of that over again. Make your four passes, then fold your end under and between the center and the rightmost strip. Follow that up with two more passes. And finally pass the end through the opening on the left, flattening everything back out. Okay, now just take some time and spread that weave all along the length of your strap until it's mostly even. To lock the weave tighter and to make it more uniform, just rub it back and forth along the edge of your table until it settles into position. Now all you're gonna need to do is add a closure of some sort. I just use some simple cordage, but you can use snaps or clips or whatever you like. For a little bit of a finishing touch, I just dip dyed the whole thing in a nice saddle tan. Though I would recommend dyeing it before weaving just to ensure a more even job. And there you have it, one mysterious weave demystified for your wardrobe. I hope you give it a shot too. In the meantime though, keep leveling up you.